So now that I have this in focus, I kind of want to redo the video. It looks like I don't sleep at all. I promise I sleep. I just have perpetual allergies. So, perpetual allergies. Um, so, I'm constantly suffering from allergies, which causes, like, this blackness underneath my eyes. <laughs> and the camera makes it look worse, even though I'm filming in front of a window, so. Just ignore that, I do sleep. And then, the mask that I have to wear for work makes me break out really bad, so. Just ignore that, too. So I don't come on the camera very often. I'm still a little camera shy, but um, I realize maybe you guys actually want to like see who's talking to you instead of just hearing my voice and seeing what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try doing that more before I film myself. See how that goes. So I went to Joanne's really quick and I uh, got some stuff that I need for a couple of projects. I have a, a co-worker who's having an issue with the uh, water bottles that he uses for his bunny rabbits freezing and breaking. So he asked me if I could make like a, kind of like a, a cozy, I guess? Cozy? Cozy? Um, to keep them insulated so that they don't break or freeze so the bunnies can still drink. So... I got some of this Insulbrite. They use it in pot holders. What else? It says coats, jackets, vests, hats, slippers, comforters, sleeping bags. So it should be pretty good. I've never used it before, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that helps with the issue that he's having. And here it is. It's a, it feels kind of like fusible fleece. But it has like a silver inside. And here there's like, it kind of looks like tin foil. It's really crinkly. They got a yard of that, which should be plenty, plenty of material. He's got three water bottles. I think they're pretty big. So I got a yard of that, and it was on sale. Originally, um, it was eight dollars, like seven ninety nine, and I got it for I think it was two ninety nine a yard. So pretty good deal. And I think I should have some left over for future projects. I don't know, maybe I'll want to make pot holders. Uh, next I got this jersey knit material. It's like a stretchy fabric. I'm making these jackets and it calls for like the tiniest bit of fabric for it um, that go around the collar. So like it has a like stretch when you pull it over I guess. So I got a yard of that. It was pretty cheap so I'm not upset about having a yard that I probably won't use for anything. I mean, it's the same material as the, the mask that I wear for work. So maybe I'll make some masks for work, or for people at work, or for my Etsy shop. Sell them for like five bucks. I'll show you the one I use for work. It's like a tube. It's a super simple pattern. There's no seam on this though, but mine will have a seam. I don't know how they make these without a seam. But it just goes over your face. I like to wear it over my ears at work because I have to have my hair up. And I work on the docks where it's really cold. So I actually wear it like this. And then I have my safety glasses. So, it's a fun look. But I thought about making some of these. So that way, if this one's being washed, I'll have a spare one. These actually double as like... Like a neck warmer. Wait. 
like a little scarf or something. Okay, and then lastly, I got eight yards of this material. It's like a thick, I don't know, thick cotton. I actually wasn't really expecting this to be that thick, but um, the pattern that I'm working with calls for like a thicker material. So I have eight yards of this, and this is all that was left. So they just put it on a bolt, which is easier for me anyways. It says it's 100% cotton, but I liked this pattern. I want to make two dresses. I have enough here to make like a small and a medium sized dress. This is the pattern. It's not called a dress though, it's called a jumper. So it's super simple. I've never really made clothes before, I'm not um, experienced with that kind of stuff. So, we'll see how that goes. I want to get into making garments and stuff for my Etsy store. So I want to make like a small and a medium. See how they do on the store. See if people like them. If they do, then maybe I'll just keep making them. Um, yeah, super easy. It wasn't too expensive either. I think it was like... Nine dollars a yard. I was wrong. It's three ninety nine a yard, which is why I ended up getting eight yards. It's normally nine ninety nine a yard, so it was on sale. It's a really good price. And the knit fabric, the jersey material, is normally fourteen ninety nine, and I got it for five ninety nine. And the insole bright was four seventy nine, and it's normally seven ninety nine. So I got a pretty good deal on that. I saved like fifty bucks.
I want to show you guys a project that I'm working on. Um, and yes, my studio is in my kitchen. I'm hoping when my lease is up, I will find a bigger apartment. And that sound is my refrigerator. It's really loud. But right now, I'm working on these jackets for Christmas presents. And my family already knows that what they're getting because I couldn't um, make these without them knowing about it. They don't know what their sizes are, so. But I stayed up pretty late last night working on this. It's not too bad. This is like the first clothing item that I've made. So it's got pockets on the sides. It's got a little like um hanger thing. You can hang it up. And some zipper for the front, and these are the sleeves. Um, this is going to be the collar. That was my next step. It's attaching the collar. Uh, here, I'm here. I just did the little garment hook hoop thing. So now I'm just working on collar and the front zipper and should be almost finished I just have the collar the zipper and the sleeves to attach and then finishing up the hems so that it has a nice clean edge but this the overlock has made it super easy to sew, it's so much faster than my regular sewing machine. So I'm really happy with that purchase. If you're gonna make clothes, this is this is what you need. <laughs> 